Good afternoon, everybody. It is I, your friendly neighborhood skook with a uke. Uh, you may or may not be able to hear in the background. We've got some snow plows a-going, so if I lean out of frame, maybe the window, there we go. You can see it's snowing here in Bethlehem. Uh, it's coming down pretty good. Uh, everybody's kind of skidding through, so if you do live in this area and you have to go anywhere, please be careful until it turns into the, uh, the gross wintry mix as it heats up throughout the rest of the day. Be careful anyway, no matter where you are, but uh, it's very beautiful, and I thought maybe if I kind of moved back just enough or something that my camera would uh, put the window in frame because it is kind of a cool, uh, different, you know, Monty Python-esque, you know, now it's time for something completely different. It's the side of the table that I'm always facing instead of the side of the table that I'm actually at. But uh, I did say um, that I was going to be trying this Cornell and Deal small batch uh, San Sepulcro uh, that I received in a Yabo from Matt Butler. And I have not spoken about it online. In fact, I haven't even had time to have a second bowl of it. Uh, as anyone during this time of year can probably relate, uh, it's kind of going, going, going with the holidays coming on. Uh, so I haven't really had any time between classes and work and other work and homework uh, to actually sit down and have a second bowl or even talk about it. Uh, but I thought maybe I would try my hand at uh, giving everybody a little insight. Uh, I've got can uh, 910 out of uh, 4,500, uh, and that's the, the tin. That's what it looks like. It's really good. Uh, I am obviously not a tobacco reviewer, but perhaps if I um, speak with enough confidence, people will think that I know what I'm talking about. Uh, and as I, I made this video um, as like a first draft uh, and realized that I was asking more questions than I was answering, so I cheated and pulled up the tobaccoreviews.com uh, website, so I've got that in the back. But um, the tin note smells just out of this world. Uh, it smells so good, and it almost kind of reminds me of like uh, Stonehenge, and I think that might be the Virginia. I don't smoke a lot of uh, Virginia very frequently. I normally end up smoking more stuff like with uh, like Cavendish bases, um, but this smells absolutely amazing. Stonehenge-esque. Um, I'm gonna see if I can hold it up. That I know my lighting's not super great, but um, it looks about like what it does look like in the tin, uh, and it's broken up pretty nice. Uh, it almost looks like it's like a shredded leaf, but it's a, an Italian dark fired uh, from North Carolina, Red Virginia's. So it smells really good and it tastes very good. Uh, I'm actually about to go have a second bowl, but I kind of left everybody hanging uh, a week and a half ago. Um, so I figured I'd pop on and, and say what I thought. Uh, and thank you again, uh, Matthew. And everybody have a safe, warm day uh, and God bless.